Time now for an update from Fox Carolina News and Fox Carolina Weather. Weather rates certified most accurate. Good afternoon. We are following a heartbreaking story out of Charlotte uh, this afternoon, just a couple of days before Christmas. An officer was hit and killed today on the interstate. It's our top story right now at foxcarolina.com. Officer Mia Goodwin killed this morning. Uh, we're told she was hit on I-85 uh, while out working traffic. The uh, chief there, Chief Johnny Jennings, tweeted this morning, it's with heavy heart that we share the passing of Charlotte Mecklenburg Police Department Officer Mia Goodwin. Uh, we're told she was hired in 2015, a mother to a three-year-old, a one-year-old, and a four-month-old. Three babies without a mom. She had just returned from to work from maternity leave. She has a husband as well. He's a Charlotte Fire Department uh, firefighter. Just awful news coming out of there. We're told that she was uh, responding to a crash on ID5 when her cruiser was hit uh, by a tractor trailer, possibly two of them. Uh, we are following the very latest out of this. Our sister station there, WBTV, following this uh, heartbreaking story. We'll have more on it coming up at 4, 5, and 6, and tonight at 10 and 11. But again, a lot of agencies across North Carolina, South Carolina, and the country uh, posting uh, about Mia Goodwin this afternoon, but a heartbreaking uh, story developing just days uh, before Christmas. So keep that family in your thoughts and prayers. Those little ones uh, lost their mom, and of course, he lost his wife uh, this afternoon. We have learned two Spartanburg County High School students have been charged with attempted murder from a shooting back on December 18th. These are the two teens, Stephen Riddle and Caleb Willis. I'm told they're Dorman High School students. Uh, we're told the shooting happened on Reedy Street on Saturday. The Sheriff's Office released warrants stating these two individuals opened fire multiple times on a home uh, and in the warrants say they tried to kill the people inside. Again, they're charged with attempted murder and are locked up. Uh, they were arrested yesterday and remain behind bars at this hour. Those are just a couple of stories we are following. Of course, you can follow all the latest as we get them here at foxcarolina.com and it's 59 degrees, but I'll tell you, it feels a little warmer out there than that in Greenville. Bob, it's uh, really nice to see uh, the sun out today after a rough start to the week. And I'll tell you, it does not feel like Christmas out there. No, it does not. And as we get closer to Christmas, it really won't feel like Christmas with a big warm up by them. But today, ample sunshine. But we do have a reinforcing shot of cool air that will be building in tonight. So we're looking at clear skies. And with the northwest wind, temperatures are going to tumble. Don't be deceived by 50 and lower 60s like we're seeing now. It's going to get cold overnight with upper 20s in the upstate and lower 20s into the mountains. And uh, Thursday, another beautiful day, probably a little cooler than today. So clear skies. You can see how temperatures dip quickly through the 40s into the 30s, freezing by late tonight. And for the mountains, you're dipping through the 30s and into the 20s. Tomorrow is the only cool day, really, 54. And then Christmas Eve, Friday, 60 up to 68 at least on Christmas Day. These are conservative numbers. I did go 70 plus both Sunday and Monday. Unbelievable warmth as we go in towards the end of the year. Maybe some shower chances by Tuesday and Wednesday still remaining mild and for the mountains 50s for you the next couple of days and then into the 60s. Unbelievable from Christmas Day clear through the middle of next week. Overnight lows too warm to make snow for the ski area. So that's a problem for them. Uh, unfortunately, they're not going to have any help from Mother Nature to uh, open ski resorts because it'll be so warm. For continuing coverage, make sure you check out the following newscasts. You can also find us on the Fox Carolina News app, Facebook, and YouTube as well. Have a great day.